it can come back. Sandra runs into the jump knee, and it's over. Michael Venom Page is one of the best kickboxers to ever enter the world of MMA. Most MMA fans agree that Michael Jerome Reese Page is one of the most incredible fighters to ever grace the world of MMA. The British fighter is often considered one of the greatest fighters of the modern era in multiple different combat sports. His unique and eye-catching fighting style is likely a large part of his incredible success. If you're an MMA fan, then you should totally get hooked on this channel. MMA Vision is here to give you all the scoops and updates in the world of UFC and MMA. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Done? Now let's get to the topic of the day. Page has picked up countless medals throughout his kickboxing career, and he's made an incredible name for himself with all the records he's setting in Bellator. Fans that may have heard of Page while thinking they haven't ever seen him may have actually seen a viral video of his KO win over Evangelista Santos. As it turns out, a heavy flying knee and the roll of a Pokeball are an excellent way to go viral in the world of MMA. While many people have their personal opinions of Page, it's hard to deny everything he's done for the world of MMA. There's something incredible about a fighter that's willing to put in the time to teach others. While it's possible his training commitments may have been derailed due to the world's pandemic, it is said that he trained fighters across Surrey at the various hands-down martial arts academies. Most MMA fighters could only dream of getting to work with a fighter as skilled as Paige. Some of the greatest fighters of all time, across every form of combat, have come from incredibly historic fighting families. It shouldn't surprise fans of Paige that his parents were both practitioners of Kung Fu. They specifically trained in Lao Gar Kung Fu, and one of his uncles is said to be a Lao Gar Kung Fu master. With all of that, Michael ended up training in Lao Gar as well. With so many influential martial arts practitioners around him, it's no surprise that Paige turned out as skillful as he has. With how good Paige is, it would be shocking if the rest of his family weren't able to at least match a fraction of his skill. To no one's surprise, some of his siblings are champions in their own right. While it's possible that more of his siblings are decorated in their own right, it's said that three of his brothers and one of his sisters are all specifically kickboxing champions. Even more shocking than a family of champions is the fact that their father was the one who originally trained them all. Many fighters show early signs of greatness with the way they compete as children, and Paige was absolutely no different. Entering into competition as a kid can be scary, but how young Paige began competing is incredible on its own. Paige entered into his first tournament at the age of five. While there isn't much information on where he finished at that event, even being willing to compete at that age is incredible. After that, Paige only waited three more years before entering into his first international competition at the age of eight. While many fighters compete for their entire lives for even a single chance at a championship, others manage to reach lofty goals quickly. With how frantically Paige has been competing throughout his life, it's not all that shocking to find out how quickly he won his first world championship. His first championship win was back in 1998 at the US Open ISKA World Martial Arts Championships. Winning a world championship is an amazing accomplishment, but doing so at the age of 12 shows that a fighter has something special in them. Seeing an MMA fighter fight multiple times in a year is a treat for their biggest fans. Seeing Royce Gracie compete a few times in the same night is iconic. Knowing Page once competed 22 times in one day is incredible. The fact that he fought 22 times in one day may be hard to believe for some, but when you find out he was competing across five different weight classes in the same day, it starts to sound a bit more believable. It's likely that the bouts weren't against a high-quality UFC-style competitor each time, but the feat is still incredibly impressive. There are a lot of athletes who work their entire lives in order to have a chance to represent their country at the Olympics. While Page was at one time presented with an opportunity that could have led him to the Olympics, he actually turned it down. While Page excelled in kickboxing, he also practiced various forms of MMA throughout his life, and that led to him being scouted by the British Taekwondo Olympic team. Most athletes would have jumped at the chance, but Page wanted to turn his focus to an MMA career. 
No matter how much any person loves their career, there's bound to be at least one thing they wish wasn't the way it is. The world of kickboxing was no different for Michael Page, which works out great for MMA fans. One of the biggest things that many kickboxing fans hate is just how unknown a majority of the sport's fighters are to the general public. It's that exact complaint and other behind-the-scenes issues in the world of kickboxing that led Page to switch his focus to the wider world of MMA. While some MMA fighters do attempt to transition into boxing, they don't always find the most success with the new pursuit. The dominance that Page demonstrates in his MMA career translated well into his boxing attempts. While he has only had two boxing matches to his name at this point, he did manage to make two impressive showings. Page looked like a champion in both matches and beat one opponent via TKO and one via knockout. It wouldn't be shocking to see him make a return to the world of boxing sometime soon. Page maintains that his flashiness and theatrics make up a part of who he is in the sport, and he claims that he won't change that regardless of the opponent. Using the misleads and unforeseen strikes that Page is capable of could be a secret to completing the tricky task that's ahead of him. What do you think about his unique style? Tell us in the comments section below. This was it for today's video. Let us know what you think in the comments. We love to have you as one of us.